So do you want to be able to get these steampunk technic wings and this lantern? In today's video, I'll be telling you guys how to beat the maze to also be able to get this amazing badge right here, beat the super scary maze 2022. So you're going to be able to get that, you're going to be able to get these wings and this coven lantern. So let's go straight into the tutorial and beat this maze. And you start right here and you go this way to get to the maze. Blackwood Caverns sign. Right here, you're gonna wanna start flying and turn your fly speed up all the way so you can go right into the maze and get up there. However, I just failed, so let's try that again. Um, oh yeah, so you're gonna wanna get up here. So you wanna fly up there and you wanna get up here and there's a little chest here. So let's go ahead and just get the chest right here. So I actually did not get this chest yet. 300 candy and a ruffle collar items. Yeah, I already got that from 2020, but good enough, I guess. Just, just come on. Okay. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is you are going to want to follow this candle all the way down into this hole right here. Then you're gonna want to drop down into this hole. Oh wait, yeah, then you go into this very top right tunnel up here. So, there we go, we got into the top right tunnel. And then, then we want to go right. So right into here, and then, then you're gonna wanna follow where these pumpkin lanterns are right there, so that's a good sign. And then we wanna go left again at here, and then turn and look up once you see the candle, cause there's this thing up here. So then, um, so this, this is how you're gonna be able to go up. So you're gonna want to go to the new set, if you have it, or yeah. You're gonna wanna wear the eighth toggle of the new Whimsy Witch um, skirt. And that will make you a lot taller, so you'll be able to get up there easier. So then, actually it is this side. So with the extra heels and stuff, you should be able to get up there eventually. So this part was definitely the hardest part about this method because you need to do a specific kind of parkour in order to get up to the top. I'll play this little video on the side to show someone actually doing it. So um, this part is the hardest part out of everything. So I don't blame you if you get frustrated on this part. Um, yeah, and the skirt definitely helps. I did try using gothic cutie heels for this part, um, but I didn't really see that much of a difference. In fact, it kind of made me slower going up. Wait, am I wearing gothic cutie heels right now? No, I am not. Yeah, so it doesn't really make much of a difference when you're actually doing the maze. So I wouldn't recommend using gothic cutie heels, just the skirt will be fine. And if you don't have the skirt, then I don't really know what to tell you. I'm sorry, because you're gonna wanna make yourself taller somehow. Maybe if you don't have the skirt, then try using only gothic cutie heels. I don't know if that works. Um, let me know if it does, but anyways, back to the guide and back to when I actually get up to the top of that thingy because it was like so hard. Oh my god, I think I just did it. <gasps> I just did it! Finally! Oh my god, I did it. So you're gonna go right and then pass this crystal cr crystal right here. And then you're gonna see this little hole and you're gonna jump down this hole. Okay, so this left takes you to the exit. Right takes you to the lantern. So this, I just wanna get this badge. So <gasps> we did it! Oh, okay. That is how you beat the maze. So let's open the grand chest at the end. This is actually my first time since I was I couldn't play the game today. Okay. Yay, we did it! Inside this chest you find 2,000 candy and the steerpunk aerotechnic wings. Alright! So let me just wear these wings real quick, cause that was pretty and pretty hard. Um so here's my steampunk aerial technic wings right here. And would you look at that? The, the things actually move. That's so cool. And now let's go ahead and get the lantern. Since when you go this way, you'll be able to get a little chest that contains the lantern. I'm pretty sure. So let's go through here. And once you go through here, there should be a chest somewhere. I don't know where, but, um, but, um, that's okay. Let's go back. I, I, I don't really know where the chest is, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I think I'm getting lost now. So, okay, yeah. Um, where did we come from? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, I think this is the chest with the um lantern in it. Hopefully, let's hope. Let's hope. 
Lantern, please, lantern, 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 please. Yes, we found the night. We found the nightmare coven lantern item. Let's go. All right. So that's that. Okay, let's go ahead and wear the lantern. Here it is in all its glory. Look at that. That is awesome. All right, guys, so that's going to be about it for today's video. Hopefully this really helped you to beat the maze and to get their brand new Coven Lantern item. Um, yeah, and that was pretty hard. Um, I mean, it didn't take as long as the other maze, actually, which is really surprising. The only thing that's pretty difficult about this maze is that you need to do that little parkour thing, which is the hardest part. But then once you get the hang of that, the maze is actually pretty easy. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. And, yeah, let's, um, congratulations, you've won. Run your body in here to get out of here. Let's go.